it's week 13, and we've got an AFC West showdown. Kansas City's looking to make it 12 straight wins over Denver. Can the Broncos snap the streak? Find out next. From one of the loudest venues in the NFL, there's a look at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. The scene just a few moments ago, predictably loud and raucous here in KC as their beloved Chiefs took the field, and they are set to match up with the Denver Broncos. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you look at our home side in this one. They know coming in, they've got to be at their best because they're facing one of the better overall defenses in the NFL. And this is not one of the better offenses around in terms of running the football. So they understand that they're going to be put to the test a bit. The big plays in the run game, they haven't been there of late. So maybe that means we'll see them shake things up a little bit. Some RPOs, some touch passes, some draw plays, anything to try and gain a little bit of momentum. The calendar has turned to December and we're in the home stretch now as we're underway in week 13. And no run back here on the opening kickoff as we'll start at the 25. And the Denver offense ready to take over for the first time. Get a look at their eighth year quarterback. His first season as a Bronco though, Teddy Bridgewater. A Pro Bowl quarterback early in his career in Minnesota before a horrific knee injury slowed down his progress. He's a more than capable quarterback that makes him most of his opportunities. A first down throw for Bridgewater. He's got his 6'5 receiver, that's Tim Patrick. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Well, this defense, very strong in that victory from a week ago. It was a little bit of lightning talking with the defense coordinator about their performance last week because the feeling was that it was a good, solid performance. They did what they needed to do to get the job done and get the win, but definitely a few lapses that they're looking to correct. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Bridgewater going right back to Fant. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. Throwing Bridgewater. That's out to the flat for Gordon. Bulldozes past him. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A big play that time on the catch and run. Just a terrific run there, Charles, from a running back who is so compact and powerful. And that strength was on display there. And that, in a nutshell, shows you what this guy is made of. I mean, most guys in the NFL just can't do that. He absorbed the contact, refocused himself, and made a break for the end zone. And the next-gen stat shows us the tale of how much yardage he was able to pick up after the initial contact. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory as they've got it to the 28-yard line. And he will find his man Sutton. That's complete. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. His passing's been on point on this drive, hasn't it? Been very accurate, gotten the ball downfield, gained nice chunks of yardage. But now, in this situation, the field is really condensed, partner. So if he's going to throw the football, it has to be pinpoint here. As I was going to ask you about that. Field shrinks, has to be sharper, but it's been a good opening drive so far. Now they just want to see if they can cap it off with the bell ringer and put it in the end zone. They'll try and run. This is Williams. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. One man in the backfield. That's Gordon, second and goal. He'll get it up the middle. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Denver score. Melvin Gordon with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Broncos take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. 
So it was the passing game that got him down here, but closer to the goal line, it's the running game that gets him home. Certainly appears that they lulled the defense into thinking that the passing game was going to be it the entire drive. Nice change up there going to the running game to get him over the goal line. On here, Brandon McManus for the point after. And he's got it. 7 nothing Broncos. So that one, an eight-play drive. It spans 75 yards. And it's capped off by a touchdown run coming from Melvin Gordon. This will be fielded inside to five. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. And the Chiefs offense now ready to go to work for the first time, led by Patrick Mahomes, the 2018 NFL Most Valuable Player. You talk about the pause that refreshes. I think it's come at a perfect time of the year for them, hasn't it? You know, they, it's the season is starting to wind down, got a little bit of a break. But how about the guy calling the signals? He's got to be excited about that because now he didn't just get a game plan for one week. He was able to work on it for two weeks. I can't wait to see if they have anything special in, in store for him today. Not much there, only a yard. Second and nine now from the 21. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. It's Hill, complete. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Here's Mahomes to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Second and 10. To throw, it's Mahomes. That's out to Hill, right side complete. Five yards, now it's third and five. They'll run for the first time with Clyde Edwards-Alaire. And that's going to be a Chiefs first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. Plenty of things to talk about here, Carl, but to me, the defense gave up a touchdown in the first drive. How about how they're responding coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. So after two first downs, they get another here. First and 10 at the 45. From the gun, it's Mahomes. That's caught. It's Demarcus Robinson. Seven yards to pick up there. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high powered, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored gives yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. Yeah, I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout. And that means your offense has to keep pace. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter from Arrowhead, it's the Chiefs in possession. As they've got it with a first and 10. Now a carry for Edwards Alaire. Muscles him off. And a pretty little juke move there on a nice game. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. A shotgun snap and a give to Edwards Alaire. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. Edwards Alaire, they'll try to run for it. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Clyde Edwards Alaire is a do it all back, and he did plenty on that run. And as a rookie, 803 yards rushing for the season in Kansas City may look to up his workload a little bit in year two. The last pick of the first round in 2020, he more than justified that selection with his ability to run the football and catch it out of the backfield. They go play fake, Mahomes. Man open is Robinson. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Demarcus Robinson, his 
third touchdown now on the year. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from tying up this football game. And that drive we just saw that culminated in a touchdown, exactly what many offenses are looking for. Sustained ones that can impose their will on the other team. Harrison Bunker is on for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So that one a long 11-play drive, and it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. Each team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. This will be fielded inside the five. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. So now the second drive offensively coming up for the Denver Broncos. They currently sit one game over 500 thanks to their victory a week ago. The big play has them all the way out near midfield for a first and 10. They try the left side here with Williams. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. They'll keep it on the ground. This time it's Gordon. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Bridgewater to throw it. Completes it to Fant on the right side. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. Bridgewater on first down. And that one going to come up short. Low throw. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Here's Bridgewater. Throw to the right here to Gordon. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Well, that is a running back who is not about to go down easily. He fought his way through the contact until the seas opened up for him. And as a former defender, I can tell you with certainty, those are the ones that have you losing sleep at night. I would not like to be in that film room on Tuesday going over that one. Just a pretty poor effort defensively, and it leads to a big play. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. From the red zone now, Bridgewater. Buying time to his left. And he slides to a halt inside the 10. Here we go. Here we go. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. Bridgewater now. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football, and it's picked up by the Chiefs. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. We'll give some credit to the defense. They forced the big play, knocked the ball free from him, but it's a cardinal sin by the quarterback. Know where you are on the field, and he just gave up at a minimum three points. And instead of getting down, takes the contact. The turnover ensues. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. Last time they were out here, they had the benefit of good field position, led to a touchdown. This time, they're going to have to work for it. They are. But with that last drive that culminated in a touchdown, I think they carry that confidence into this one. It doesn't matter where you start with the football now. They have to feel great about their opportunity. Mahomes throw here complete to Kelsey. That catch good for only a couple. From the 17, Mahomes. Another pass into the reliable hands of Kelsey. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 
The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And a get this into the hands of Hill, complete. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Meanwhile, Mahomes throw into the hands here of Hardman. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. That was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Throwing now is Mahomes. Open man here. It's the tight end, Kelsey. Touchdown! Travis Kelsey with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great win in the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. Butker now to add the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. That time, a six-play drive. And it winds up with the Chiefs hitting Pater. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This one taken just inside the 10. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Melvin Gordon now, he and the offense, they trot back out there. He's been good. They've utilized him well, but they're losing here in the second quarter. What might they change offensively? The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get you caught up on what's going on around the NFL. There you have it. Halftime quickly over. Third quarter, here we go. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Chiefs ready to go on offense to begin quarter number three. Hey, Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half, they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it, but I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities, and I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. Seven yards to pick up there. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys that we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. On second down, a run with Edwards Alaire. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 41 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. Right back to Edwards Alaire on first down. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. Not the kind of game that will go absolutely crazy for, but it's the kind of game that you need to have when you're running back in the NFL and Clyde Edwards Alaire with that low center of gravity and strength. He's going to get those tough, gritty yards for you when necessary. 
Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Throwing is Mahomes on third. To the right side, it's Kelsey. And he'll only get this to the 47. He needed a few more yards to pick up the first. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. Well, the coverage was tight that time. They allowed the pass underneath to him, but they rallied to him pretty fast, too. Converged on him and got him down. That'll bring up fourth down. Here's the Chiefs punter now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. So now a look at the Broncos as they head back out there for their first possession of the second half. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, OK, the first half was. Now the handoff comes to Gordon. Takes this to the 27, give him four yards. And movement by one of the Broncos up front, and in comes the flag. That was a third and somewhat manageable now, not so manageable. Exactly, because you had a play call on that you felt like, hey, this could go quick, and it doesn't take much to get it done. Now, just start thinking about a little bit of a deeper route type of a call, especially if you want to throw it. Got Gordon open, completes it. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him on the backfield any way they can. At that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Now Gordon on first down, and he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. Throwing on second and eight, Bridgewater. And Gordon's got it. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 38. Now a handoff. This is Gordon. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. From the shotgun, it's Bridgewater. Able to get this to Gordon. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. Chris Jones make that now eight sacks for him on the season. Ah, uh, partner, you know what I'm going to say before I even say it. Yeah, you just cannot take a sack in that spot. You're exactly right. You can't take a sack in that spot. Potentially now a three-point swing right there. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. We're back now in KC. It's the Broncos trailing, but they do have possession of the football as we begin quarter number four. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Now this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. And now here comes Kansas City. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at the 20. 
They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Flushed out right. Gets this one to Hill. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. That's a good chunk of yardage that's going to be canceled out. And we always talk about hidden yardage in a game. That's going to count as that because now it doesn't go on the books, but now they have to make that up again, don't they? Mahomes to throw on second down. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. Here's Mahomes to throw. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. And at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Nicole Hardman, his second touchdown on the season. And the Chiefs add on to their lead, and they are also closing in on a fifth straight victory. Patrick Mahomes, he can do everything seemingly, and that time he just reared back and let it fly. And you'd think on third down, they'd just be looking for something right beyond the sticks. And I think they caught the defense flat-footed as a result because they decided they were going to take a shot right there, and it ended up being a big play. Extra point by Butker is on target, and it's now 21-7. The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This one fielded at the five. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Denver's offense now set to go and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they can... From the 29, Bridgewater. This is Gordon on the dump off. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. So the completion good for just three. And they're going to face a third down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Fourth quarter, every drive's so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You have the first one for the second one to even matter. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete, and this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Looking to throw again on second down. Bridgewater. He'll fire one downfield for Fant. And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. It's a big play there for the Broncos. That's a great job of working the sideline right there. I love how he tracked the football the whole way. Just reached up and pulled it in. Had excellent field presence to understand where he was in order to make that play happen. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. To throw, Bridgewater. Oh, a strip, the ball comes out. But it looked like, fortunately, the Broncos able to recover. Fortunate to get that football back, because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity, because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points but the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. So they keep the football, but now face second and long. Throwing his Bridgewater. And that's checked down to Gordon. 
Scott call it a gain of three on the play. And it's going to be third down and a ways to go here. Third and 14. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. The Broncos on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This is third and 14. Letting one go deep for the end zone. And this one is incomplete. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball. And they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Desperation time, fourth down, Bridgewater. He's going to take a shot for the end zone. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They'll try and run down some clock with Williams. And a few kneel downs should come very close to finishing this one off, depending on whether or not we see any defensive timeouts. They still have two, but using them would just be prolonging what's really already been decided. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. Now the Broncos going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On third down, here's Edwards Alaire. And he gets it to the 34, good enough for the first. Now the Broncos will use their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. And they take a knee. Charles, you'd said the magic number was probably right around 20 for this defense because they're facing one of the top five offenses in the league in terms of points scored. They've had their moments, but this offense, just a little too good, isn't it? They really are because no matter what you do to make an adjustment on defense, they've had an answer for it. Mahomes down to a knee, and that should just about write a finish to this one. Here's the Chiefs punter now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And he'll get credit for putting him inside the 20 as the fair catch is made right at about the 19-yard line. So this one in the win column for Kansas City. And you know, it wasn't a shutout. They did give up the points in the first quarter, but second, third, and fourth quarter, they held them scoreless. Brandon, if you throw a shutout for quarters two, three, and four, you're going to win a lot of games in this league. And this felt a lot like, almost like if you say baseball, and the pitcher goes through the lineup the first time and the hitter's getting the sand, and then they come out after that and the bats start blazing, right? I think they saw their best stuff in the first quarter and just shut everything down from that point on. What a great convincing performance. So for Kansas City, it's an important win for their playoff hopes as they move to 8-4. and four.